Well, let's start this right. She's not taller than me. She's sitting on a stool. Have you ever wondered what goes on in a race shop in the off season? Well, I got to sit down with my brother and he gave us a little insight on what it is that they do to get ready for the upcoming season. So can you explain to us, you know, once the last race of the season is done over with, where do you guys begin? Uh, what we do is we, we wash the car. Usually um, Ronnie Miller comes over, we wash it down to the scratch, and then uh, we strip everything off of it. And usually if we're gonna, uh, if we're gonna sell it, we, uh, we get put it online, we have the guy come, and usually we sell frame and, and uh, bodies, and then we take those parts, clean it all up, and then we start on to the new car. As you can see in the background, we have a 2018 Bicknell that uh, Art and Scotty are on the background um, working on some stuff, putting it together right now. So you just said you just got a brand new Bicknell. Where do you begin to start building? So we start at the motor plate. We we'll actually run the brake lines first before you get into there. And then we run, uh, then we put the motor plate in. And then you kind of, it depends on what you have. Right now our motor is out in Morgan Teague and we built, um, so we don't have a motor for it. So we started on the front end and uh, we put the drive line and the transmission in that was rebuilt. Um, we're waiting on the rear. Um, hopefully uh, they'll have that here shortly. And then we got a fuel cell and we kind of, we kind of spaced it here pretty good. Shocks go out. I mean, I'm pretty well organized. We started talking to Randy at Bicknell about this frame back in August so that I could get a, a spot on the list and uh, me and Ricky Olsen went up and picked up some frames about October and uh, we got one more coming so we're, we're doing pretty good. Now for the guys that, I mean, a lot of people don't buy new cars every year, so you still have your 2017 car? That's 2016. 2016. So what we did is we ran that at Eastern States and we uh, washed it all off and we, right now what we'll do is we got the motor out that went back to actually it's Precision Big Block, so that's a Bob's of Precision. Um, we, we're starting to uh, do the maintenance, so we'll strip all the axles off. We'll go pretty much down to bare metal and build that one up. That one don't have a lot of laps on it, so we won't do a ton of work on that. But we need to do some frame repair, you know. We blew a tire in Middletown, unfortunately, and uh, pushed the frame over a little bit. So we got to get some pieces in to make that work. Okay. Do you spend just as much time in the race shop like you do during the season? Not as much. We cut back a little bit, you know. Uh, I don't cut back. I'm trying not to this year. I'm trying to keep my standards going. Um, you know, we, we work, I work myself Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays, but it's tougher in the winter, you know. We're here on Saturday, which is nice, we get a lot done, but we'll work Tuesday, Thursday, you know, guys come in and out. This isn't as much demanding because you're not, you're not pressed for time. So, um, it depends, you know, I, I believe in shop, races are one of the shops, so if you don't keep working at it, you know, we're fortunate, we're, we're ahead of the game this year, so we, we, we keep at it, you know. We, we make sure when we're done, you know, we also send out reviews to our sponsors to make sure they know how we did through the year. You know, we send out things to them to, to make sure, we're, you know, they're on board, you know, and I, you can't do it without sponsors, and it's great, you know, and people aren't thinking race this much, but if you, you let it slip, you know, we all go on vacation, but you don't see us do it a ton, so it's kind of like keeping on to the next thing to make sure we're on top of the game. So speaking of sponsors, how do you stay in touch with them during the off season? Oh, you know, so we'll send out a season review at the end of the year, and uh, we're fortunate, man, I've got so many great partners. Um, then what we'll do is we'll go out to PRI, you know, either some of, one of us will represent either eh, once every two years at least, we try to get out there, we'll take in motorsports. Um, you know, a lot of people we don't see all the time, we deal with, you know, we, we do a lot, and it's good to see them in person, so that, that I like to do, you know. But keeping people into it, you know, I'm fortunate, like, we just, we're getting the motors rebuilt, so we're talking to that sponsor about that, you know, and, uh, it's like a balancing act, it's just keeping everyone informed and that's what I try to do the best, you know, it's, it's keeping everyone into it, intricate is, is key, especially in the winter time, you know, there's, it's a downtime, a lot of people hunt this time of the year, a lot of people do other things, but, you know, for us, you know, we like to keep ahead of time because I'm going to lose a couple weeks this winter, you know, we'll be doing the PRI show, you know, I end up going to Oklahoma, I think, the Martin Motorsports, so there's a bunch of things in here that are, uh, you'll lose some time. So if we're ahead of the game, it makes come February, March, I'm not a thrasher, so I like to be prepared and uh, ready to go. So just since, you know, you're re rebuilding a modified basically from scratch, how long, if you were thrashing, how long do you think it would be able to take you to get it done? We built one in a week and a half. So we can do it in a week and a half. I mean, I've seen Shepard build one in four or five days. So, oh, that's true. But that's, but he's full time, you know, we don't work this full time. So most people aren't full time in this. You know, I do have a real job. But we got a good bunch of guys, and we've built them in a hurry. This this one, you know, if we push it, my goal is to be done by January 1st. Um, we also got a speedster in the trailer that we're getting a body on next week, and we got to fix the other ones. So 
Plus, I run for uh, the 51 team, which I'll go down and help them get ready for. And uh, the 96, Ricky, he usually takes care of a lot of that, but we'll, we'll go involved in that. So it's, it's a lot. It don't end. You know, I spent every night this week on racing. So it's not, people wonder why, you know, you succeed in the sport. It's just, uh, you know, you keep working at it. You, you just keep on top of it. In racing, you work full time and you also race. So you're almost busy 24 7. So do you get any free time to enjoy stuff in the winter? Yeah, we do some stuff. You know, we'll go, we got to dinner a lot and we'll do some other things. We'll go go garden, which sounds like kind of ironic. Racing. But, um, you know, it's, it's a different thing. You know, we get to mess around. I got a bunch of guys here. You know, they have some fun here. You know, we pick on them all the time. You know, one's got a, one's got a stepson that he works with all the time. The other two, they got a bromance going on. Another guy, he's uh, he's getting his knees replaced, They're so he's got some grease right in the corner. <laughs> so uh, you know, we all we all come kicking at it. You know, another guy we call no show. You know, so you gotta have fun. If you don't have a good bunch of people that have fun, you're you're not. You know, the winter time's all about busting and getting to see everyone else. And we'll go to the banquets together, and uh, we'll get some shirts. And we're we're a good group of people. You know, it's one thing you'll learn is you surround yourself with good people. The good things happen, and that's that's what it try to do. You know, sometimes we all call ourselves half nuts, but we have to be half idiotic to keep doing this stuff. Is that the truth? All right. Well, thank you, dear. Yeah. Bye -bye. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thanks. Brings you here in the off season. Because I drank the Kool Aid. Thanks, guys, for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the videos, and come back every Wednesday for the latest.